one of the most popular and probably one of the most photographed items in our museum is the mastodon, which is found here in Wisconsin. Uh, I think it was found in 1898, and it was found by kids, farm kids, after a big rainstorm. The museum was founded in 1848. We were actually in the original science hall that burned down. By some accounts, it nearly shut the UW because all of the science departments were in there. I like to tell people when they come through the museum a lot about the Wisconsin history. So you can see red granite, which is a rock from Wisconsin, it's our, it's our state rock, it tells us we used to have volcanoes here. You can see that Wisconsin used to be covered by water. And so we've got jellyfish impressions, corals, snails, and these are all things that you can find here right around Madison. Right now, today, this is my favorite. Um, so this is a big slab of chalk. It's creamy yellow and it's got this scattering of fossils over it, but it tells a really cool story. Most of it is a shark skeleton, which is unusual because sharks' skeletons are made out of cartilage, usually rots away. So that we have any backbone pieces, which are these things that kind of look like pepperoni slices, that's unusual. But what's really cool is that in the middle part of it, there are things that the shark ate before it died. It feels really serendipitous to actually be in this job. It's something that I did not predict for myself to be working in a museum, but it, you know, in retrospect, it's perfect.